wish I had like just did both harder and I probably wouldn't be screaming at my laptop in my barn with my uh, with my buddy Chris. Uh, we got the last chat of the night, Weed with the 25 bucks. Hey, Chris slash Nick, I'm currently torn between continuing to study biology, though I likely will get a bachelor's regardless, and doing freelance video editing, freelance video editing work until I hit a big project. Thoughts and advice. Love the stream. Stay busy, man. Uh, with thought with video work, um, the guys who- Torn between biology studying and freelance video. Yeah, freelance video. Um... You have to stay really busy. Um, the best people I've seen make the most uh, dough in media production are people who are so busy, they're like machines. So um, get your methodology, get your uh, methods and your rudiments down when it comes to your workflow and uh, really get nasty at your workflow if you're gonna do that. Um, and uh, I, I, <clears throat> there's, no, there's just no way at your, your age that you'd have it. I'm not trying to be a prick, I'm sure you're good, but you can be better, right? Do both. Do both, yeah, do both until you're really proficient at your hobby, at the you know the the non-stable work. Let's be honest. Let's just be crystal clear here. Um, I don't think it's, and then figure out which uh, avenue you want to take inside the the, the, the space of uh, production. But quitting one and having like an absolute is a is a, a honestly, in my opinion, it's a, it's a it's a way to fail. I think people think that the grass is always greener, um, and they quit or they pull a parachute and they think it's like one or the other. And I think they should hybridize the uh, the transition a lot more than they do because uh, you're just leaving money on the table and you're like bringing your quality of life down. But you kind of just it's 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 kind of like a it's kind of like a honestly, and I used to do it a lot. It's like a move because I can't focus my time on one. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. I should have. There's ten times I should have in my life, and I wished I had. I wish I had. Fucking, uh, I wish I had like just did both harder and I probably wouldn't be screaming at my laptop in my barn with my uh, with my buddy Chris talking about guitars. But, and but we're glad you're, we're here. Anyways. We're, we're glad we're here either way. But honestly, I n n quit and want to do that. You might, you might f yourself over. That's all, man. Uh, study studying and you might not finish a program that you put some time and effort into um, and maybe figure out a faster way to hem up the uh, the studies and uh, get into a program. where you can start, you know, making uh, manifesting some sort of a living out of uh, your studies. We all know science isn't real. Yeah, we yeah, we know science isn't real. NASA's fake. So I mean, look, it's hairspray. Yeah, yeah. Like Chris, like uh, fine. Chris will f hairspray his hair. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And we'll oh, the and hair goes like this. Yeah. Oh, Chris is oh s Chris out is of space. <laughs> Chris is the anti gravity. Chris, how'd you get no gravity? Because you're in space. We got Piero Hordo with twenty five bucks. Hey boys, I'm a digital pro product designer who recently got laid off. Might start a stream where I review apps and give suggestions on how to make them look better. You inspired me. Would love to hear what you think. Go for it, buddy. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, man. Get people done on projects. Uh, make a board and then move people's projects along. Yeah. Yeah. Get them from the, get them from start to finish. Use YouTube. Get get your channel monetized. Do super chats. Chris knows. Chris knows the steps. Yeah. It's a good idea yeah. though. Get Chris. Get get. Get a lovable guy like Chris. Get read good. Get get get, get, get Chrissy speed read. Get do reading stream. Teach read for me, please. Thank Teach you. Teach for me stream read. <laughs> and, uh, no man, that's, that's no. Go cool. for it. Yeah man, go for it, dude. Uh, always. Um, people. Yeah. I mean, look. Go fast with information. Give sl slam it in there. Uh, we got dweller with twenty five bucks. Your advice has me thinking about antiquing. I know a little about art history from college, but I am clueless about buying and selling. How much should someone save up before jumping in and where can I sell? Thank you. Where can you sell? Uh, Facebook Marketplace is not bad. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you can sell at flea markets. Um, I mean, I get it. <clears throat> but the way, <clears throat> the way I did it, I, was, I would throw yard sales. Um, <laughs> that's the way I started. Um, I used to go to the flea market a lot when I was a kid. It was like a big, try, but. I did yard sales. I would post uh, yard sales on Craigslist. People are still old school. They still do this. And um, you'll have like 10 people in your yard if, if you're good at it. Whoa, this house is fat. What the f You guys are getting real good at this. You guys are good. This the past two streams have probably been the, the really high quality. I mean, you guys oh, yeah. are hitting like, there's like a lot of 10s in this group. Um, really great. Imagine, remember when we used to look at condos and be like, what do we want to do with these condos? <laughs> like a long time ago. Anywho. But, um, hmm. Sell 
that uh, flea markets if you want to set up that's kind of annoying but it's kind of fun uh, there's no HR department in antiques so you can do anything you want um, but I wouldn't buy a lot that's that's a risky that's a risky business to jump right into flea markets but um, I don't know start one item at a time go to an auction look at what sells um, go to an auction sit in a chair and look at stuff that's a really good way to learn the auctioneer will educate you you're sitting in a it's like this it's like a guy sitting there and being like all right we have the uh, aura force faceted clear uh, ashtray I don't know, this is probably retailed for $200. Start the bidding at $10, 10, 15, 15 like that, you know, you little assigned art glass piece like that. You just sit there and you just learn. It's fun. You should all go. I swear to God. Most auctioneers are pretty good. Um, some are great, but that's how I learned. I sat in an auction and then um, selling wise, go one item, at, uh, one item at a time. Facebook Marketplace is a good place to start. People are nuts on there. So have at it. I mean, it's a wild west. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> I'm a gambling addict. <laughs> it's fun. I'm getting beat up. Help me. Chris. I'm. I'm. I want. I went to magic school to learn one trick, and it's the how to steal the watch trick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing, Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Esterman. Nice to yeah, see you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, a bird, a partridge. Would you yeah. like an apple? <laughs> I'm just. I'm just sprinting away from her with a watch in my hand. Uh, yeah, David Blaine. Yeah, I'm Trick David magic. Blaine. If I fail, uh, we got. Animal de Muppet with the 25 bucks. Hey, Nick slash Chris, 20 year old college student switching from a business major to CAD slash CAM. Uh, want to do residential print drafting. I heard I can make a hundred per hour under a general contractor. Yeah. What's the best way to go about making money? Thanks. Get into a lumber yard. A high end lumber yard is like the hub of work. It's not a joke. Like if you, if the lumber yards like they set the lumber yard up because like a good one. A pri lumber yards are cool. We have a really great local lumber yard here, Situate Lumber. They have good guys. Um, they they have like they have premium products. Um, but they bid a lot of work. They're always looking for dudes. And like I mean, it, it's just like a lot of work starts there. Um, you're gonna be working th those guys. They're at the source of the work, as opposed to the contractor being like having to go out and f find his own food. They're the food. They're the court system. You know. They hold court. Go, go. Uh, I, I, I think that the the work there is is steady and ready and ready to go immediately. Um, you can get small projects for people. Like you want us to drop. It's sometimes a service, but I, th I think a retail would be a good place to go. Good answer. Um, and what was there? Was there was there more to the question? Oh uh, no, you're just talking about how he, he's in CAD. Yeah. And wants in wants to make that hundred an hour. Yeah, I don't. I mean, a lumberyard's not gonna pay a hundred bucks an hour, yeah. but pri privately, I mean. Pro or, and you can offer your services privately, you know, outside third party if you want it, you know, to draft up stuff for people and basically offer you. It's almost like being like a fiver, but in person and local. But lumber yards are going to be a, a good source of uh, income and revenue going forward, I think. <laughs> <laughs>